How's it going guys? Welcome to another video. It is Wednesday, October 9th. It is about 8.30 in the evening. I'm at home right now. We just got done in the field about an hour and a half ago. Uh, we got another hard day's work in today and I uh, had to end the last video due to it getting about to be that length. So I'm going to go ahead and take you guys to the footage that I got today and we're going to kick off another harvest video. So if you guys do enjoy this video at any point, make sure you guys smash the like button on it. Hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm going to take you guys back to the footage for today and we're going to keep on going with harvest. All right, everybody. Good morning. It is now Wednesday, October 9th. It is just about eight o'clock in the morning. I just got here to the field ready for another day. Scott just left with the black truck uh, with the load that we had preloaded last night that I've already got on today's count. He just left to take that to town, but uh, my cart is still full. The combine is full. So when that truck gets back, I will dump on the truck and Jonesy is on his way with the big cart. I, we, I dropped him off at the shop so we can grab his tractor since he had to fuel it up last night. For right now, I'm gonna run my tractor the way I normally would, and I'd just chase the combine, and I'm gonna see what she does. I'm gonna see if she has a hiccup and runs hot a little bit today, because there are days she doesn't, and there are days she does. So I'm gonna see if today may be one of those days where she doesn't, but in the case that she does start running warm, Scott has told me this morning that he kind of wants me to kind of just serve as the grain cart's grain cart again, where he wants me to kind of sit up on this ridge on this flat out here, and Jonesy can go and chase the combine and bring up uh, bring up enough to fill me, bring it up to the ridge, and keep me on the flat ground, just because those hills are so steep, I got to wind this tractor up, and that's the if I wind her up, she's more prone to running hot. So, if I notice she starts getting warm, I'll switch up my position and I will just stay up here on the flat on the ridge and Jonesy can come up to me. Which, speaking of which, he is pulling in from the bean field side so he doesn't have to go right by the house. He is here, so I will give him the game plan. So, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to give Jonesy the plan now that he's here and we are going to get going. Alright guys, it's now 10 o'clock. We are way over to the east, making our way east and west here on our long rows. But uh, Dad's truck just got here. It's 10 o'clock. Dad just got here after hauling his uh, load or two of feed this morning. So now we're full steam ahead. That last, the last dump I had, I had to sit up here and wait for quite a while for Scott to get back. But now we got both trucks. We are full steam ahead. Tractor's been running great so far, only up at about half on the temp gauge. But that's only with one truck, and I had to sit for a while, so I had the engine off. So we'll see how she does, and if she gets hot, I'll just have to stay on the ridge. But for now, we'll see what she does. All right, guys, it's now 4.30. We're still plugging away here. The combine's getting pretty full there. About to swing his auger out for Jonesy over there. Jonesy is in position to unload. But I haven't really filmed very much today because I ended up having to start just sitting on the ridge. I She, she started just going up to the red and started blinking at me. So for a few hours there, I just decided that I was gonna you know, do what the boss said and just to keep her on the ridge. Jonesy would bring a combine up, dump up to me, dump on me, and then I would just stay on the flat ground and run up to the trucks and dump, and then Jonesy would go up and dump, and it was all right for a little while, but I just got bored sitting here, and I, it, finally about four o'clock, I guess I don't remember exactly when we started doing the ridge method, but about four o'clock, it's about half hour ago, I, I said, you know what? I've been, you know, babying it, just doing it on the ridge, shutting it off, sitting here waiting like I am right now. Well, I'm not, or I guess I'm technically on the ridge, but I'm right here by the combine waiting for my turn to uh, dump. But uh, I said, screw it. I've been babying it a little bit and she's had a lot more time off than she has on. So I says, I'm going to go out and chase the combine and give her another run and see what she does. And so I came out and I chased the combine and I got a whole load straight off the combine. She stayed right at half on the temp gauge. 
I hauled her up to the truck, dumped it on the truck, and I got back here, and she's still at half. And now I just shut it off because Jonesy's still got to get two combine dumps yet before he's full. So might as well, while I've got one, I've still got an opportunity to, I'm still going to shut it off and just let it chill. So uh, I haven't filmed very much today because of that. My battery's about dead on my phone too because of that, because I was doing more scrolling on my phone than I than just listening to music. So, but a little bit more of a slower paced day with that, but I'm gonna give her a run and I'm just gonna keep chasing the combine. And if I see her go to the red again, I'll just go back to the ridge method, I guess. But I guess we'll see what happens. So we're just gonna keep on plugging away this field is huge. It's about 320 acres. And I mean, we're, we're, we're over halfway done now. Um, we got a little bit, we got a decent sized piece left in the big section. And then we've got a 25 acre section over on the West side that we still have to do, but we won't get done today, but we'll, we should get done tomorrow. We'll see what happens, but, uh, definitely by Friday, we'll be done with this field and moving on down South to Besco's, but we'll see. So we are going to keep on plugging away, and we'll see how far we get. Alright guys, good morning. It is now Thursday, October 10th. It is nine o'clock in the morning. We are just getting going here in the field today. Jonesy took my tractor. My tractor was low on fuel. So Jonesy, we were supposed, they were supposed to bring fuel out here to the field for me, but uh, Jonesy decided to just jump in my tractor and drive it around to the shop and fill it up. So I jumped in the big cart here and there, there was just a little bit on the big cart. So I just dumped what was on it on the truck now that it's back and empty and the guys are just getting in the combines, so I think I'll just run this one until Jonesy gets here, and then we'll obviously switch back. But this way we can get going. We are gonna be getting the combine going this morning, and I'll just run this one until Jonesy gets back with my tractor from fueling it up, and we'll be good to go. But we are gonna get going for today. We should get this field done today. We should be done with this field, and we will be packing things up, greasing things up if we need to, and headed all the way down south. It takes about two, two and a half hours to get the equipment down to our field we call Besco Bottom. It's about 300, well, it's, it's actually a 400 acre field, but due to some flooding on that bottom ground, there's probably a good 100 acres that got wiped out due to the floods uh, that happened earlier this spring and summer down on that bottom ground. So we usually have 300 acres still to harvest down there, but they are getting going in the combine so I'll just follow behind in this until my tractor shows up and we are gonna get going for the day. All right guys, it's now 10.30. I'm still here in the big cart. I dumped off what was on it and then I started running it because Jonesy wasn't quite back from the shop with my tractor yet. I've been running this and Jonesy's now back. He's been back now. We've sent out two truckloads and he's been running my tractor. I guess I, I thought we were gonna switch back. I guess I don't know. It's up to him. If he wants to switch, we'll switch. If not, I mean, I kind of like him running that one right now so we can kind of keep an eye on it. He's more mechanically inclined than I am when it comes to that thing possibly running hot. So. Uh, I'm gonna dump half my load. I'm gonna fill Jonesy up. Jonesy's only about half empty. I'm gonna dump on Jonesy and refill him so he can go up and I'll have more room to keep chasing the combine with the big one. Yep, you got a good jag there, Jonesy. It's still weird seeing my tractor be run and it's not me driving it. It's weird. 
But Jonesy said he's going to run that thing for a while. He said, I've been fighting that thing all fall. He goes, I deserve to, to run the, the luxury one for a little while. He said, if it gets too hot this afternoon, he'll probably switch with me, which is fine. But uh, he goes, you've been fighting with it for a while. He goes, I'll fight it for a while today. Give you a little bit of a break. So I'm going to run back out and get this combine. All right, guys, it's now about two o'clock. Uh, we're still here in the big piece. We've almost finished the big piece, but unfortunately, we had a breakdown on the combine. It's showing on the computer something about a tailing speed sensor or a tailing sensor uh, being faulty or going out, not working all of a sudden. So we, uh, we couldn't quite find what might be the issue uh, just inspecting the combine out here in the field. So we are going to take it back up to where we load the trucks and have the boss look at it. And hopefully it's nothing too major. And if it is, I guess we'll have to call a John Deere guy to come out and uh, maybe replace the sensor. Who knows? But we got along really good there until this just happened. All of a sudden, he went to, he dumped on me and he turned around to do another pass. And all of a sudden, something wasn't working right and it popped up on the computer. So. We gave her a once over out here where we were ready to keep harvesting and it just wasn't ready. It wasn't, we, were, we couldn't find anything obvious. So we are headed back up to the trucks and we are gonna take a look. I'm gonna go ahead and dump my load off the big cart here. If there's a truck sitting up here. I see Jonesy sitting up here in the little cart, but we'll see what happens. And we're gonna give this, uh, we'll have the boss look at this car. Oh, actually yeah, I see both trucks sitting up there. Good, we got both trucks. Sweet. I guess I'll have to figure out which one has been dumped on because Jonesy was full. Probably my dad because it looks like Scott is parked in the back. So we are going to go up there and we're going to see what's up. All right, guys, it's now just past two. The little cart is down too, I guess. On the way up here, I guess the ignition wires came off or broke on the little tractor, so it killed the little tractor. So we got to fix some wires on the little tractor. And Tom and Scott are taking the combine back to the shop. They dropped the head. Up here you can see the head is dropped and they have the combine going to the shop. I guess a chain came off uh, for the tailings. So they're gonna take it back to the shop and see what they can do to fix it. And we are gonna, I'm gonna run up here and grab some tools from my dad's semi that will fix the, we can try to fix the wires on the ignition on the little tractor. So we are temporarily down. I'm just gonna park the tractor up here and take bring a pickup back. But we are gonna get to the, sh we're gonna, well they're gonna go to the shop. I'm gonna stay out here with Dad and Jonesy and we're gonna figure out, uh, figure out this, uh, that they're gonna dump off the, on the truck there. Dump on the truck so that they can fold the hopper. But we are gonna get this stuff fixed and get going as soon as we can. All right guys, this is now 2.38. My dad has been here. We got his truck, we're filling his truck now. Dad got the little cart back working. It was a mixture of a bad wire and a blown fuse because of that bad wire. So those are replaced and we are getting the, dad is emptying the little cart right now. The guys are still at the shop with the combine. So at least we got one breakdown fixed. The grain carts are both back ready to go. Now it's just a matter of waiting on the combine and we'll see how long it takes before we get back going again. All right guys, it's now 5.15.
we are back in the field and the combine just got hooked back up to the head and is headed back out to our short rows we just got the combine back in running order um, so we got that fixed and we are back ready to run again it's probably gonna be a late night one because we're making up for the lost time and two we're hauling to our bin now we're not hauling to town so and I'm still running the big tractor Jonesy said you know just like you said earlier you've run that little one all fall you know, he goes, you can run the, the big one. So I was like, all right, sweet. Nothing wrong with that. I like the luxury of the, the big one compared to the little one every now and again. It's a nice change of pace. So we are going to keep on combining for as long as the boss says to. We can see the combine down there. He's just about back to where we were combining. But we are going to get back to it. We just got some short rows left on this small piece, on the big piece. And then we got this 25-acre patch here to do on this side of the ditch way. So we are going to keep on going here and we'll see how far we get tonight. All right, guys, it is now 8.40. I'm dumping on my dad's truck. This will fill him. And Scott just hollered at us on the radio that he is bringing the combine up. We got the 25-acre piece knocked out. That is it for the field for back here behind the cattle lot, which is awesome. 320 acres knocked out. We got her done. That's awesome. I got this truck packed up pretty good, but it's just going down to the bin, so that is A-OK. -okay. So the combine is coming up. 
I'll mark this load down and we are gonna shut down this field is done all right guys I just got done filming the last clip and I told Scott to dump on me what he had left because I didn't get clear empty and Scott then goes on the radio oh wait a minute there's more out here I didn't see it so come out here Josh so I'm on the way out I guess we're not quite done yet there, there can't be too much left but it's hard to see in the dark but we are truck I'm gonna truck back out there and we'll get what's left and we'll get this done one way or the other all right everybody good morning it is now Friday October 11th it is 8 30 in the morning we are just leaving the field behind the cattle lot here making the move down to the field we call Besco bottom it'll take us about two two and a half hours to get down there we're taking the pickup down as a leader I'm pulling the corn head behind me and Jonesy's taking the big cart there to make our first round and Scott will be bringing the combine little cart as of right now the boss says he wants to keep it up here as of right now he says with it with it running hot he goes we'll run for a while today and we'll see how it goes and if we absolutely need that tractor and that cart we'll come up and grab it but we just don't want to risk taking it all the way down there and it overheating but uh if that i guess if that's the boss's decision if we need it, we'll come up and get it. If not, we'll just run one cart down there. But we are on to our last field. This is the last field we have for Harvest 2024. I can't believe we're already coming to the light at the end of the tunnel. But uh, there's about three, 400 acres down there that uh, we will uh, need to be combining. So we'll be down there a few days. So we'll see how she goes. But... We're gonna go ahead and convoy down there. It'll take us a few hours to get there, but we're gonna get down there and we're gonna get started on this last field. All right, guys, it's now about 11 o'clock. I'm still in the Dodge pulling the head. Uh, we had a, I had a tire blow on the trailer on the way down here. It still had air in it, but it blew the tread right off the middle of the tire. So we had to run to the nearest town and get a new tire and we just got it put on. So now I'm gonna follow the combine down. Scott is sitting up here. He helped us change it, and uh, in, in this guy's field, we just pulled in. Uh, we, I guess, uh, Tom knows this guy, so we were able to just park everything here and uh, get stuff changed. But uh, I'm gonna follow the combine down, and we're gonna get down and start combining, and we'll see how far we get today. So we're down here on Besco's right now. And you can just see in all these weeds here, this is all water hemp. This creek back here is what flooded in the summer. And all this, all these weeds, where all these weeds are, is where corn was. And it's just where it got washed out and the corn couldn't grow. You can see it over here. And I'm sure there's some way back there too on the other pieces. But now we're just starting to get back into where the corn survived. But where all these weeds are here, all the tall weeds, that's where corn should be. So we are definitely out some corn. About yeah, about a about a hundred acres down when you add all these up, but there's you know you can only do so much with being bottom ground. We had all that rain all all at once last over the summer and just flooded it all out, but this we're harvesting what we can and uh, we're gonna take off what we can with it and we may have to get a big old batwing mower or something down here to, but well, we're gonna have to do something with a mower or something to mow all these weeds down before we uh, haul big iron down here to do some dirt work. I mean, look at that little patch. You can see that's obviously a washout. Little green plants in there. That was all. You can see a washed out spot from the flood. There's a nice washout spot in there, but there's still. I mean, overall though, there's still a lot of good corn here. Just the weeds have taken over the back portion to closer to the creek, but we're getting there. We're gonna knock out what we can though. All right guys, it is now Monday, October 14th. It is a little after nine o'clock in the morning. I'm here at my apartment today. Um, I got another day off uh, because we don't have that little tractor down there at Besco Bottom due to it running hot. Uh, my tractor is just not down there. And uh, I was in contact with Scott this weekend and I asked him if he was gonna try to get that thing down there, if he needed my help at all. And he said, nope, he goes, I think we'll be okay with what we got. 
uh, just to wrap up because it is just it is the last field of harvest so I said no big deal not a problem and I went up to my brother's uh, this weekend and we ended up going to a haunted attraction one of the best I've ever been to probably the best I've ever been to really really fun we had a good time and uh, I just hung out up there for the weekend and I'm back here today and there I talked to Jonesy on the phone yesterday and he made it sound like they were going to get done uh, with Besco's uh, today. And it's just harder uh, because they're fighting all that water hemp down there that uh, grew in where the corn should have been with that flood that happened. So they're battling that a little bit. And uh, there's not as much corn there. So ultimately, I think it worked out for the best to just have one cart down there with everything that's going on down there with all that water hemp and stuff like that. So I think... That's probably going to wrap up Harvest 2024. I may get a phone call either later today or tomorrow, uh, depending on when they get done. Um, maybe they, they might need me to go down and help move some equipment back home to uh, just get everything out of that field, bring it home to the shop. But that is pretty much it for Harvest 2024. It felt, I felt like it just went like that. All the long days, the long nights. You know, it felt like at the time it was taking forever. But here we are a month later. Usually it takes us about a month to get our harvest done. And uh, it's right on the money. Uh, the 12th or the 13th. Well, I guess we started opening up on the 12th. The 13th was the first full day of harvest. And so the, they'll probably wrap up today, the 14th of October. So yeah, just over a month. So about normal, normal length for us. But uh, they're going to get all that done today. And I might go down and help move equipment either today or tomorrow, depending on when they get done. But uh, Harvest 2024 was so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed going along with me. Uh, first time ever doing it full time. That's pretty much my dream job. So I was able to do it and I really, really had a great time. And I was working with guys that I know and I like and we get along with so well. And it was just so much fun. I can't believe it's already over. But uh, they're going to get that all done. And uh, they don't need me today to do that. So I'm just hanging out here today. Might run a few errands today. We'll see how the day goes. It's kind of chilly this morning, so I'm waiting for it to warm up a little bit. But uh, Harvest 2024 was so much fun. Hope you guys enjoyed riding along with me in the grain carts. Uh, I got to run both carts quite a bit this year. Um, at the start there, Jonesy was under the weather, and so I got to run the big cart uh, for the first week or so of Harvest there. And then when he returned, uh, we had the little cart ready to rock and roll, and I just switched tractors. And then from there, we did some other days where I would jump in the big one and stuff like that too. So, uh, so much fun. I have a ton of fun and I'm glad I was able to take you guys along pretty much every day uh, for at least a little bit of the journey. But uh, yields were so, so good this year. Um, with Despite the really dry conditions and burn bans and crop fires that have been going on, um, the yields really did really, really well. We're, we were easily averaging... Uh, 250 on the low end uh, bushels per acre uh, for corn and beans we were easily getting around 70 bushels per acre for beans so really good yields for each crop type really really good um, it's just a shame that the, the the markets aren't there the the prices are down on the commodity so it's just we have all this grain and it's just the price is not uh, just not there so I think it's going to be a storage year a lot of guys are going to be storing it and waiting for the prices to go up before they sell. And that's just all part of it. Um, if the prices are good right out of the gate at harvest, which usually they aren't because everybody's shipping it in, um, the prices will go down. But uh, if you could hold on to it and start shipping it out like the winter and the spring, those prices are going to start going back up. And that's what really helps a guy out. So the yields were really, really good, and uh, ultimately a really, really good fall. We didn't have very many uh, breakdowns, and even the breakdowns that we did have were pretty minor in the fact that we could just shut down for a few hours, get it fixed, and get back going. We never had an issue with something breaking, and we had to shut down and be done for the day like we did last year. But uh, we had one rain day where uh, rain came through and it had to shut us down that first day we started beans. But other than that, we were able to run all month long, nonstop, run all month, 
get it done. The weather was great in order to pull it off and uh, it just worked out so much better. One of the best falls I think I've, we've ever had on the farm just due to the weather and uh, the lack of breakdowns and stuff like that. But uh, I think it was a really good fall overall and I'm excited that I was able to be a part of it and you guys got to be a part of it as well. You guys kind of got to see what it looks like on our operation. So I hope you guys enjoyed riding along with us. But I think I'm gonna wrap up this video and wrap up Harvest 2024. Um, my time in the grain cart is over, but uh, by the sounds of it, next week, we are gonna start going in the hog barn and uh, our market hogs are gonna start being ready. And unfortunately, like I've said before on these videos, I can't film in the hog barn for you guys. So uh, unfortunately, I can't take you guys along for that adventure. But uh, that is my next juncture. I'm going to be moving out of the field and going into the hog barn and uh, feeding the world in another way, which is, you know, just, aw which is awesome. I love doing this, this job and I'm excited that I get to take you guys along for it as well. So thank you guys so much for joining me for Harvest 2024. If you guys enjoyed this video and all of Harvest 2024, make sure you guys smash the like button on this video. Spread the word of the channel, guys. Thank you guys so much again for joining me for this video and for Harvest all together. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.